What's good? It's the kid, the goat, the young guy, Toby the Tyrant, and we are back with another point guard build. I'm sure everyone is tracking on the BP build, offensive threat, blue green pie chart that's been picking up a lot of traction and steam over the last two months, especially. Uh, day by day, it just seems like more and more people are making this build, but we're not here to make that build today. We are here to make a derivative, uh, close cousin to the build per se. So of course we're gonna go with the point guard position, handing this in jersey number, it's really up to you and your personal preference. Skill breakdown, of course, it's blue green pie chart, finishing and shooting. Physical profile, I'm gonna go with the agility here. You can go with agility and vertical, but I'd say agility is best for me in this situation. Close shot, max out, driving layup, max out, driving dunk, max out as we get into these attributes. And standing dunk take to a 35 for that 16th finishing badge. Mid-range, you take to a 74, right off the back. Three-point max out, free throw max out. Post-fade, take one tick from the max to an 88 for 20 shooting badges. Pass accuracy and ball handle both max out, putting you at 13 playmaking. And then you take your post moves up to a 42 for that 14th badge. Defensively, you max your lateral, your perimeter, and your steal. And you take your defensive rebound one off the max to a 68 for that eighth defensive rebounding badge, leaving you with three attributes left over. Now, of course, you're not gonna get another badge in any category with these three. So I would say put it into whatever you feel is the most effective for your play style. I'll probably put it back into the mid range to give me a 77, making me slightly more potent on offense than I already am. Body shape wise, I'm gonna go burly here. Whenever I go minimum weight, I go with the burly body type just to feel more comfortable. It's not really scientifically proven that you get better animations, but I feel as if I play better with that burly body type at the minimum weight. Uh, height wise, I'm gonna go 6'4". You can go with the 6'3", like the BP build, but I say 6'4 is better um, in this situation. You're taller and stat wise, you match up pretty evenly with that build. Weight, like I said, I'm gonna go minimum on the weight. Wingspan, I'm gonna go default. Yes, you can go lower, but uh, I say default in this situation for myself. I run with somebody who either has Hall of Fame floor general giving me that plus four to put me at 85 ball handle, and then just two plays into my takeover, I have speed boosting capability, or I run passing and ball handling skill boost, which puts me at plus five right off the bat, giving me speed boosting to start the game. So I'd say stay with the um, default wingspan in this situation for myself. Takeovers wise, the only two um, what is, what is the word? viable options in this situation, I'd say would be uh, slashing or playmaking. Playmaking because like I said, you don't get as high of a playmaking as the BP build with that one less playmaking badge. And takeover wise being in playmaking, it's like a double dimer. But in this situation, I'm gonna go with this slashing takeover. You see the comparisons to John Morant, Russell Westbrook, and Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. I think if you have not seen any of Abdul Rauf's highlights, you should watch him. He's like the 90s version of Steph Curry before Steph Curry. He was phenomenal at shooting back in the day. But getting into this badge layout, 16 finishing. I'm gonna go Hall of Fame on the contact, Hall of Fame on the slithery, uh, bronze lob city, maybe silver acrobat, bronze relentless, silver, and those. If you wanna switch it up, of course you're more than free to do that. But I think this works for my play style. It's all about what you think works well with you and your play style, and of course with your team. Shooting badge wise, I'm gonna go go quick draw. Like I said, I run Kobe on gold for most of my builds, especially all of my guard builds, I run Kobe on gold. But if you run a Hall of Fame jump shot, of course you can put that up to Hall of Fame. You're not really losing out, it's one badge upgrade and you still get all the necessary badges that you need. I'd go Hall of Fame, Hot Zone and Range Extender, Silver, maybe Gold Grain Machine. I'm gonna go Volume Shooter on Silver and probably Silver on the difficult shots or maybe even a Bronze Slippery and a Gold Grain Machine or like I said, if you run that Hall of Fame quick draw, you can get that bronze slippery and that Hall of Fame quick draw to make you uh, very effective off the ball, like a Steph Curry or a Clay Thompson. Now playmaking badge wise, I'm gonna go silver. Now when I said you could go with the playmaking takeover, that would make, uh, like I said, it's a multiplier on your dimer boost pretty much. So to make it even easier for your teammates to get shots. But in this situation, me going with silver dimer, I'd say going gold on handles for days, quick first step and tight handles is what's gonna make up for that 
less than gold dimer potential because my ability to get free is what's gonna give my teammates that extra openness to hit shots because somebody's gonna have to help over. And of course, my last three bronze badges was uh, bailout in case I'm baited, uh, needle threader, and unpluckable. Defensive badge wise, you get eight compared to the five or six that the BP build gets. So you're slightly more apt, as I said, on the defensive end. I'd go gold clamps, gold, inter I'm sorry, not gold, silver interceptor, silver pick dodger, and then maybe bronze chase down or bronze intimidator. It's really up to what you think is better for you. But that is my inside out playmaker build, the cousin to the BP build. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have any suggestions, share with your friends, family, everyone you know. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Turn on those notifications so you'll know about the updates when I'm coming out with new videos. Like I said, I still have my gameplay commentary on the way. I'm still in the works on that. And I have my highlight hoops mixtapes that I'm still gonna be dropping, uh, event videos, as well as more build videos. So thank you for tuning in. I am Toby and I'm out.